Hey everyone, this is Tony Shisha's Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to SSH into a remote server on Windows. Now, in order to do this, we're gonna be using a free software program called Putty. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get on into the tutorial. Okay, right off the bat, this is the IP address that I want to SSH into, but we need Putty, we need that software that I'm talking about. So let's go out to Google and get it. Type in Putty, P-U-T-T-Y, and what we want is putty.org. So click on that. You can download Putty here, click on that. And what I'd like to do is install the standalone application. My computer is 64 bit, so I'm gonna click on this link right here. Now, like I said, this is standalone. There's no installation necessary, so you can just click it to open it, move it around to your desktop, move it around to another folder. It doesn't matter. It'll work anywhere you run it from. Okay, this is the interface for Putty. It's asking for an IP address. Let's go get that IP address, and let me just organize my windows here to so something like this. All right. Um, we'll get out of here, copy the IP address, and paste it into the hostname or IP address field. By default, the SSH port is 22. Unless you have a different port number, stick with 22. Okay, now we can click on open. And this um, alert is basically just saying, do you trust this connection? You're only gonna see this alert the first time you connect to that server. Um, if you trust it, go ahead and click on yes. And then we can log in. So it's asking us for a username. We have our username over here and it's root. And now it wants a password. Um, you can either type a password or copy and paste it. Copying and pasting is a little tricky with Putty. So in order to copy and paste, which I'm gonna have to do over here because I don't really wanna type in all that garbage, I'm gonna copy the password and then over here in Putty, uh, you can't right click and, and paste uh, or like anything like that. There's a keyboard shortcut that you just have to know. It's shift, insert, and then you can hit enter. So hit enter and that should log us into the server, and it does. So we're on, um, let me just show you, we're on a, an Ubuntu server, and you can do whatever you want on here, whatever you came to watch this video for, uh, now you're logged in, we pretty much accomplished everything that we set out to. Um, the only other thing I'll show you is how to get out of here. You can either click the X button, um, you can also exit out of Putty like this, and that'll exit out of your server connection and everything like that. So go ahead, type exit, hit enter. And that is about it. I will show you one other thing. If you're gonna be connecting to this server, you know, multiple times, um, let's go find the putty installation. Like I said, you can, oops, not the desktop, uh, downloads. You can put this on your desktop and it'll still open because it's a standalone application. Um, if you're gonna come to this, uh, this IP address the server more than once, you can save your session and you can save the username too, but just not the password. So, cause that's a, that's a security issue. So you can say, instead um, of just typing the IP address, you can say your username at the IP address. So that way you don't have to type in your username every time and you can save it, uh, give it a name. So let's call this uh, demo, demo server. And we'll save that. And now we have the demo server here. So uh, let's close out and open back up one last time. And we can just double click the demo server. And as you see, it already knows our username is root. And then we would just have to come back in and either know our password or copy and paste it. So I'm gonna copy it, come over here, shift, insert, enter and we are logged on to our remote server. Guys, if you have any questions about SSHing into uh, a remote server on Windows, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you got value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more from me, subscribe to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.